Hi Crafty Patty here. In a past video, I made a macrame wall hanging using three colors, and this is what we have. I had leftover cording, so I made a three color, three tier macrame plate hanger. So stay with me and I will show you how to do this. And if you want to know how to make this macrame wall hanging, I'll leave a link in the description below. a spare piece of cording to the hook at the ceiling and I've uh, actually taped my tape measure to the wall so I can see where my first plant is going to sit and I've just attached the ring to the end so I just have an easy place to work on my macrame. This ring will be the first one that will be attached to the hook to the ceiling and I'm going to attach my first cords to this ring. Now all your ends are together, place them through the ring, keep all the loops together, open up the loop, and now pull all the strands through the hole and pull through. Now you're going to want to find two whites in two blues. Now we're going to make a square knot. We'll have our white cords on the outside and our blue cords in the middle. First thing we're going to do is place our left cord over the blues, hold with our thumb. Now bring the right over the white to the back and come up through the hole on the left and now you can hold with your right thumb. Pull the white cord through. This is the first part of your square knot. We started on the left, now we're gonna start on the right. Bring your right cord over, hold with your thumb, left goes over behind and through the hold. Hold with your left thumb and pull through with your right thumb. This is the second part of your square knot and you've now completed your first square knot. If you're not sure how to count how many you've got, you can look at the ridges on the side. There's one, or the V's in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We will need to make eight in total. And we're gonna repeat this pattern on our other two sections. Again, we're gonna find two blues and two whites. We're going to make sure that the blue is in the middle and our whites are on the outside. Now form your square knot and do eight. If your ends have unraveled, just take a piece of tape, place it on, and then start to wind the tape around the end of the yarn, pulling slightly, and then making a little point on the end. This will make it much easier for threading on your beads. And here we have a nice sharp point. Our bead is in place and now just one square knot on the bottom to hold your bead in place. We've made one square knot and now we'll make seven more so we have an eight in total, the same as above. And then repeat that on the other two sections. Thank you. 
You may have noticed that your blue strands are a lot longer than your white strands. So what we're going to do now is make a berry knot. We'll start our next square knot leaving a gap so we have room to place our cords through the two blues in the middle. Now bring your white cords into the middle, bring your blue cords over top, and keep those white cords in the middle to form the square knot. Bring the first part of this square knot up tightly under that berry knot, and then complete your square knot. Now we'll do some half knot spirals. So a half knot is a half of a square knot. So by doing that, we're gonna work only on one side. I'm starting on the left, and that's normally the first part of a full square knot, but we're not gonna complete it by going to the right. We're gonna keep on the left. So keep going on the left, and this will automatically form a half knot spiral. And you can just twist it if it's more convenient for doing more and just continue. Now it's time to make the part where the pot will be supported. So we're gonna take two sections. We're gonna take a white and a blue, and the blue and the white from this section. We're gonna come down about four inches and make a square knot. So there's our square knot on this section. Now turn it around and we're gonna take these two and the next two. And one more square knot again. And have it come down the same level as your first square knot. Now, at this stage, I would come in with the pot that you plan on hanging and give it a test. And then you'll know if you have to make any adjustments. So I actually want this knot to appear for this to come up to here. I don't want it sitting down here. So I'm going to adjust my knots. So now we can come in and take your cords again and form another square knot. And this will be sitting right under that top knot right there.
Then we get another ring and pass all the strands through the middle of the ring. There's our four. We're going to pull the white to the outside. our square knot. I like the way that the square knots follow all the way down and then securing the ring in the middle. Taking one gray and one blue and open up in between. Tuck your strands through. Open up the hole and the lock's head once again and do that with the other strands in between. So we'll have one here one here and one in here. And I'm going to be doing the same sequence as I did on the first one and the second one. This time I'm going to keep my gray in the middle and use my blue for my outside cords. Now we're going to repeat the pattern like we did before up top, which was eight square knots. We added a bead. We did another eight square knots. We then moved down, left a bit of a gap. We made three square knots and then we made our berry knot. We then exchanged our colors so our longer cords were on the outside and then we made four square knots. Then we started our spiral which are half square knots and we did 18 half square knots. We added our bead and one more square knot. 